Hi guys, in this presentation, we shall learn about transistor as a switch. So why I'm starting transistor as a switch because in this playlist of uh, IC555, we're gonna learn IC555 from scratch and build some of the interesting projects, okay? So transistor as a switch is a basic component in projects, okay? So that's why I'm starting transistor as a switch topic now. So before going to learn about that, we should know what exactly a switch is. A switch is nothing but which makes or breaks the circuit. So let me illustrate what I, what exactly I mean. Consider there is a battery and a resistor and there is a switch. Okay. And I put an LED here. Okay. Now if you close the switch, this will close. If you open the switch, this will be turn off. So a switch is nothing but uh, making or breaking. Okay. So what are the key points in here so that I can translate this into transistor? Let's see. Consider if I put an voltmeter across this switch. Okay. So if the switch is in open condition, so what is the voltage across the two terminals? It is nothing but the applied voltage, right? Here the voltage is five volts. The voltage will drop across the open circuit. Okay. If uh, if you are not familiar with the basics of network analysis, you can refer the playlist which was done by my friend Vinay Kumar. Okay, you can check out link in the description. Okay, whenever the voltage is 5 volts, which means the circuit is open. I can write like switch is open. Okay, whenever if I short it, which means I close it, which means I close it, then here and here there are the same potential then the voltage will be zero voltage will be zero then it is short circuited so what i mean is if the voltage across the switch is zero then the switch is closed if the voltage across the switch is 5 volts or the applied voltage then it is an open circuit so my problem statement is for example if i want to uh, on off the LED okay if I want to on off the LED for every 5 seconds which means from 0 to 5 my LED should be turned on from 5 to 10 my LED should turn off from 10 to 15 on 15 to 20 off like this it should go infinite time so in order to achieve this we have to put a timer okay put a timer and see how to for every seconds we have to close the switch open the switch close the switch open this by using our hand so is there any way so that I can do it by somehow if this pattern follows let's see okay in that switch we use our hand to turn on to turn off the trans to turn off the switch okay and see here there are three terminals are there okay this is collector this is emitter and this is base for time being just neglect this base okay we don't care about base we are in, interested in these two points. Remember, there is a switch like we have written like see this these two terminals. Okay, these two terminals are nothing but we can somehow interpret it with like these two terminals. Okay, these two terminals. So what I'll do is I'll connect the same circuit here. For example, there is a battery. Okay, to limit the current, I put a resistor here. Okay, so these two terminals acting like a switch okay if somehow if i find the voltage across it which means ultimately these two points only okay we know that if the voltage is the applied voltage then it's an open circuit if the voltage is zero then it's a short circuit so now the base part comes here now if i apply voltage appropriate voltage across the two these two terminals which base and emitter okay then these two terminals are short circuited okay these two terminals are short circuited which means like this so this circuit has a conducting path now current will flow and here it will glow okay now you can see that here the same potential then the voltmeter is voltage is zero volts okay what happens if i say that if i don't apply appropriate voltage then these two are open circuited open circuited means like this see like this okay so these two terminals 
so these two terminals has no conducting part so this is turn off in transistors whenever we applied appropriate voltage here then these two terminals are shorted together okay then it is act like a switch if not then these two terminals are open circuited okay now coming to a problem statement i have said that how to get those results see by somehow if i have a controller okay if i have a controller and i written already some program in it to work to work like like five seconds uh, for every five seconds i have to turn on and turn off the led so what i'll do is i'll 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 give that to a transistor then i'll put an led here okay if this is one which means high then these two are short circuited if these two are short circuited this will connected to ground this will be connected to ground and this is not glowing okay if i say that if it is zero if it is zero then these two are open circuited if these two are open circuited then here applied voltage is applied to here here a vc series is applied here ground is there the current will flow so by using a of some program and using this transistor we achieved this led flickering okay so you, you, you may ask what happens if we directly connect the led to the controller for for small leds it's okay but if led draws huge current or a motor or something any 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 type of load okay if any type of load is connected directly here then you may observe that whatever this device requires current will be drawn from the controller okay which may not suitable okay if the controller is in within the limits it's okay if the controller is not within the limits then this controller will be damaged okay whatever we are using our hand to turn on the switch to we will put our hand here and close the switch exactly we are doing here by using a, a voltage source okay while doing the practical applications you will know exactly how useful it is okay